Okay, so Paul, here we are. We've been doing some work since I was gone. Yep. I see a lot of nitty gritty coming out. Now you're really getting into th these optical illusions that you mm -hmm. love. Are you driving yourself crazy yet? <laughs> no, it, it continues to fascinate me because, you know, as I said you know, before, it's an adventure. So I don't know where it's leading, but every once in a while, some, something will come clear to me as I'm working, and then I'll say, well, I like that. For instance, this area right here, uh, I'm not going to mess around with that too much. You all like that, but I really like the way that's worked out. Unfortunately, because this is so high up here, I have to get to work on it too often. Yeah, right. I, yeah. So, but I'm hoping that I get some, uh, some nice things like that going on up there, too. So basically, now you're looking at it, and it's getting to the point where there are sections of the piece that are working, mm -hmm. that you're not going to touch. Right. Theoretically, you go around the piece, you keep stepping back and going closer until there's no area that you feel you want to work on more. Exactly, exactly. Well, tell me about what's going on here. I'm loving this area where you feel like your eye is coming well, this in. Is, this is, this line right here mm -hmm. is, I, I turned it into a horizon line, actually. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. So you see these lines are going, leading into the distance where the, the you know, perspective right. would be here. Your vanishing point would be about here. Now, I'm going just the opposite here. So this turns into like a horizon line, this being the sky, this being the ground. And then it kind of disappears as you go behind right, the figure. Right, because it's really not supposed to be a horizon line. It's just it's that impression in that area. The, the, the larger picture is that these are stair these are this is a staircase. Oh, okay. And so you have your treads and your risers. But this one ends up, this riser comes down to be the, the a horizon line. So well, I love the way your eye, yeah, your eye thinks it's a certain thing, and then you get to another area, and it's not quite it's what you else. thought. Exactly. But over here, you definitely have indicated that those are stairs. That's right. I did that partly for composition reasons and partly in order to um, clarify it for the viewer mm -hmm. a little bit more. and just you know, shade it across like that. Now, this color from underneath still shows through. Yeah. But this is not completely opaque either. Yeah, there's a little, and that is paint and? Medium. Medium. Yeah. So, it, it, in the end, you get unexpected effects. Right. But you kind of expect it. Well, you kind of expect it. I mean, you do it enough. I've done it in gouache, mm -hmm. and it's kind of similar where you're putting the medium right. in it and you see through it. But you don't always necessarily know exactly what you're going to see through no, it. Sometimes that's it's it. a nice surprise. The real interesting thing is you could is look at a photograph of this, and it might be a nice image, but you will never get the, yeah. the experience of seeing the real thing because no. it's really translucent. And it won't look good. It won't look no. good on the website. It's going to look different. It's going to look different. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, but I can see I can see little areas here where you've done it, like here and here. But what I like, I actually like having that little residue there. Yeah. It's just giving it a that's, little that's on punch. Purpose. Yeah, that's, that's done on purpose. You don't want to ruin that. Kind of twig. Yeah, and here too, I can see. Oh, there. Here's a perfect example. Here you've done it. You've stumbled, but that's coming through. Right. And if that wasn't coming through, it'd be a much duller area. Even areas like this, which look. You know, one person might say, well, how rough that was. Right. Person. But that's actually, to my eye, I, I like that. There's a lot going on yeah. in there. Yeah. But again, 10 feet back, you're not going to see you, that. You won't see it. Yeah. But, it, but it'll, it'll um, contribute to the overall impression. No, I agree. Well, it gives it energy. I think it, it actually almost gives it kind of a little bit of a laciness. Exactly. You know, there's something kind of lacy of about exactly. it. Exactly. It's yeah. very ephemeral. And that's yeah. one of the things that philosophically about my paintings. I'm not I'm trying to discover reality really. You yeah. Know, and yeah. It's You're not hiding it. It's presenting itself to me. So all the lines that were there in the beginning of the painting mm -hmm. begin to become more and more obscure. Mm -hmm. They never disappear completely. Right. They're always so there. they're in the background. Well they're not shouting at you anymore, but some are. Some, I mean, you haven't some, gotten rid of all some of them. Some decide they want to be dominant. Right. 
Right. Other ones want to recede. Yeah. Or they tell you. Or disappear. Yeah. 